Donta Foreman, running back 56 last year, 133 rush attempts, 566 yards, three touchdowns, nine receptions, 11 targets, 123 yards, zero touchdowns. Thoughts on Donta Foreman? If I'm drafting Christian McCaffrey, I'm getting my hands on this guy. This is the handcuff. This is the handcuff. Now, he, he performed very well in in service of Derrick Henry, who was injured last year, right? And Tennessee did like a weird three-headed, two-headed, four-headed, three-headed, two-headed running back committee. Like, And I said all those for a reason, because if you go back and look at how they split it out, that's kind of how it went. But he was very serviceable. So he, he is he's the handcuff. Like, he is the guy. It's not Chuba Hubbard. It's... Deonta, uh, Donta Foreman. Um, and if I'm drafting McCaffrey, I'm getting him. That's where his value is. There is no standalone value at this point. He is purely a handcuff, but that's okay because I am a believer. If you get a, if you're going after and you land one of those top, you know, five, six running backs who have a clear running back, you know, a clear backup behind them handcuff that sucker yeah i mean it just is what it is so um that's where his value is but i'm okay with that and i will draft him accordingly yeah that's exactly i mean i so i did this last year where i had cmc and i i made sure i grabbed as many shares of chuba hubbard as i possibly could because of that because i knew that i wasn't going to have a ton of cmc i think dante foreman fills that role this year as chuba hubbard you know starts to become a little bit more you know acclimated to the nfl and and really, he was just thrust into – I don't know that the Panthers really wanted to thrust him into action as much and as early as they had to, but they had to. Now you bring in a, a, you know, a veteran like Dante Foreman who, who's familiar with that role, and it, it just makes it a little bit easier. And now you can kind of put Chuba Hubbard on the path that you wanted to put him on when you got him initially. So I like Dante Foreman here, especially if you've got CMC shares. But I also don't mind him as, as a standalone Um or is somebody that you pick and maybe the guy who's got CMC that, that, that asking price gets a little bit better when you uh, float the uh, float, the trade out there halfway through the season. I mean, it very well could be right. And this is the guy that I think that they'll actually spell um, CMC with a little bit, as far as the run game, maybe take some of the, uh, the wear and tear off of him a little bit and try and stretch that out. And it's not going to surprise me to see Donta Foreman get at least a hundred carries this year when it's all said and done, right? Like not going to seem surprise me to see them, see them bring him in and, and run a series or two just to get CMC off the field, uh, give him a little bit of a break here and there, and maybe take a little bit of the, the grind and wear and tear off of him. So I think Devonta Foreman, while he doesn't necessarily hold standalone value, is absolutely the handcuff on this one because if CMC goes down, you're going to see Devonta Foreman in there for the running side, and you're going to see Chuba Hubbard come in on the passing side of it.